Hi, in this um, video I'm going to show you how to access a Canadian proxy server in order to um, hide your IP address. Now you may have noticed if you're outside Canada um, you may have trouble accessing a lot of websites that are based in Canada. Um, the example I'm going to show you today is um, CTV, the Canadian broadcaster, um, which will not stream its content to anyone outside Canada. Now, your IP address is, is assigned to you by your ISP so if you, or your internet provider. Um, so wherever you are, you, your IP address will be linked to your location. So if you're in the US, you'll have a US IP address, the UK, a UK IP address, etc. Now, many, many websites now, um, in fact, many thousands, um, will block access based on your IP address. Um, if you're from the wrong country, you'll a different country, you'll get blocked. So if I go to the CTV site, for example, um, let's go to CTV and try and watch uh, a program. Um, if I haven't got the right IP address, I'll get this message. So sorry, this video you have selected is not available for viewing outside of Canada. There's there's loads of sites like this. If I went to the BBC, the UK broadcaster um, site, and I wasn't in the UK, I'd get the same sort of message. There's loads in America, all over the place, really. It's um, it's a worrying trend that's happening more and more. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to use a Canadian proxy server to um, bypass these restrictions. All right, let me just close these down. And I'm going to show you a program called Overplay. Now, there are some free proxy servers around, um, but they're extremely dangerous to use. Um, you don't know if they're going to steal your data or um, track your connection, uh, install viruses on your computer when you're using them. Um, so I wouldn't advise it. They are there, though. Um, not so many Canada, but there's quite a few American ones around. But the, the safest thing to do is to use a provider um, who provides VPN and proxy servers for you to use. Um, there's lots of them about, and they don't cost that much. This one costs a few bucks uh, a day. Uh, a month, sorry, not a day. <laughs> right, okay, now this is the interface. It sits in my taskbar here, and it's got lots of servers, and... From here, I can select any of these servers uh, to make a connection to. Now, I, I'm going to show you Canada. I need to get a Canadian IP address. So I select a Canadian proxy server. So if I just select this one in Toronto and select connect, you can see it's authenticating now, and it will assign an IP address. Now, it's not actually changing my IP address. I'm just making a secure connection to this Canadian server. But what it does do is any website that I visit will now see Overplay's, the proxy server's address, and not mine. So, if I start my browser again, you see it's connected. I'm going to start my browser and go back to Canadian uh, CTV. There we are. If we go to CTV and try and watch the program again. What's this big bang? And I click on OK. This time you can see the um, show is going to start streaming um, and you can watch it as normal. This is because I've now got a Canadian IP address. Um, the website is seeing the overplay address and says, oh, he's in Canada, that's cool, and let him play. Um, if I wanted to then, I could change the... Um, the server I was connected to if I wanted to watch say the BBC or ITV in the United Kingdom or I could go to if I wanted to watch French TV just pick one of the French proxy servers um, I'll bypass all these blocks it also gets past blocks in um, YouTube and things like that um, where you can't access a certain YouTube video because you're in the wrong country um, and that's all there is to it it's uh, it's a neat little program and it's becoming pretty much essential if you want to get access to the world's best websites. Um, so uh, I hope you found this useful. Um, there's a link there to, if you want to read more about Overplay and um, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.